In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually launch a quiz is for your students and um, what it will look like for the students to actually take the quiz. So what I've done is I've already selected a quiz and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click play. My settings are all fine. I'm just going to go ahead and press proceed and I have my code to enter the game. So I would tell my students to go to the join.quizzes.com website which I'm going to pull up here and they would type in the code 91511 and press go. Here they're going to have to enter their name. Always make sure that you give your students directions on what name you would like entered or you may have something a little inappropriate pop up. Um, so for this one, um, you may also want to have them use their initials. So we're going to just use my initials for this one and press go. You can see as they start to register, their names will appear on this screen. And this is what they will have. You can um, kind of hear that there's some music there in the background. So make sure I always tell the kids just to turn that off unless they have some earbuds in. So we'll go ahead and mute that student screen. All right, so they're waiting for the game to start. Once everybody is registered here, the t as the teacher, you're just going to click Start Game. Okay, and I'll get my student screen pulled up here again. It's counting down. All right, so I've got a question. The iPad is manufactured by, and then the students would have to just quickly look at the answers and then click and you can kind of see how fast that was but what it did was is that actually gave me points you can see that the students um, they're still going we're going at our own pace right now um, you can see the timer is running out up here okay so we want to go ahead and we want to choose an answer we'll say World Wide Web and you can see the funny memes that they were talking about for the teacher side you can actually see the progress of students as they're going and how well they're doing um, so if you had a kid let's just say I'm going to say wrong I'm just clicking through waiting for my next cancer I don't want to do this just gonna click another answer I got zero points again and I'm doing this very quickly and then I'm gonna get zero points again so I can see if a student had a bunch of red I probably need to step near that student um, so here let's keep going which the following is a presentation program That'd be PowerPoint and you can see the pictures they're pretty funny. The students, you know, usually tend to enjoy those. You can turn those off, though, if you don't like them. So what does the computer allow you to do? And we'll go ahead and finish these last couple of questions. You can see here we're on 8 of 10. Um, so that's, we'll just say monitor. And auto sum. And the brain, we all know, is a CPU. Okay, so I finished all questions of my quiz. So as a student, we're seeing what rank we are. Of course, I'm number one because I was the only student in my class. Um, but only your, they're only going to see their own rank. They're not actually going to see who's in first or who came in last. Um, so it kind of does, you know, you still have some privacy with it. If you want to, you know, give out some prizes for winners and things like that, it just it gets real motivational for students. Um, on the student side, again, when they get done, they can actually scroll through, and you can see here, the green is for correct, red is for wrong, and if they got the question wrong, it also shows them what the correct answer was. And that was another setting that we um, just left turned on at the beginning of the game. You can also always turn that off. Okay, so students are done, they're ready to exit out. As a teacher, um, and let's just say that, you know, we had um, 10 kids on here or 30 kids or how many ever kids you had taken the quiz and you see a bunch of red X's in the number four column. You can then very quickly just right there with your students scroll down to what number four was, read the question and say, okay, let's go back and reteach this real quick and show them. Um, if you don't have that time during the class period, you could always go back, identify those areas that they needed um, reteaching with, and you could always pull that in at the beginning of the lesson the next day. Um, you can also use this data to form your blended learning groups, um, you know, based on whatever um, the topics are. Um, a lot of 
teachers have done like year-long tests um, or survey type things where they'll actually put like numbers one through five will um, all come from standard number one. Um, number six through ten will come from standard number two. So then they can really start to see by standard which one they need to go back and reteach. Um, so you can see how that data really does become to get really powerful just depending on you know what you're going to use it for that day, how much time you have, um, and what you're willing to get out of the data. Um, a cool feature here though is that you can save the data. So we're going to hit save data and I'm going to show you what this looks like because it actually puts it into Excel for you. And this was a piece of data from another quiz that um, I had some other people do earlier so you could actually see more than just one person's response. So you have your questions here and then you've got the number of correct, the number of incorrect, and then any of them that they may have skipped or just didn't quite get to, ran out of time, which is another red flag. If you had, you know, 10 students that all were unattempted because they ran out of time, you know, okay, that's definitely one I want to go back and look at. So you've got some data there to look at. And then you come on over into their individual answers. And I can really quickly see, wow, there's a lot of red on this one. Okay, so I need to go back over. Um, and this is was a true false. A video game console can expand your viewing surface and run business and writing applications. Um, so I know that I need to go back and I need to do some sort of reteaching or regrouping for that. Um, maybe on this one, okay, I'm seeing a little bit of red here. This may be just a little small group pullout. It may be only two kids. It may be only six kids. Um, but I could pull them out and we could really talk about um, the devices and what they can be used for, what types of media can be streamed through them and things like that. Um, so you can kind of really quickly see if you did want to give some sort of a, um, an actual grade in the grade book for this um, based off of their responses you can see right here it goes ahead and it calculates an average for you. Okay, If you want to have your students keep up with points as some sort of incentive program you have their score and points right here as well and these are Excel spreadsheets so you can save them, you can manipulate them, make them what you want them. You've got your students names here um, and it actually comes already color coded like that and everything for you from quiz is. So I hope you got a lot out of that video. Um, as you can see it can be a really powerful tool but it's something that can actually go very quickly in the classroom. Um, I think you could have an entire quiz and, and a quick review probably within a couple of minutes once you have your kids kind of in there depending on the number of questions that you're going to have. So once again I hope you guys enjoy a quiz is and that's it.